The Tarelgan Bowls Club. Amazing food for you and your family. Function rooms for celebrating with your friends. Corporate spaces for meetings and conferences. With special benefits for members, visit us today at the Tarelgan Bowls Club. More than just a bowls club. In the UK, there's a bowl for every surface for the Hensley product. But overseas, I use the Tiger 2 and I use the Dreamline XG purely because I love the grip and the arc that the bowl takes, and that's what makes me one of the best players in the world. Good morning everybody, welcome to the second live streaming game today from Tarelgan Bowls Club. It's the round of 32 in the men's pairs. And the Henselite Victoria Open, this is day four. My name is Josh Thornton and I'm joined by none other than Matt Atobre. Morning, morning Matty. Morning JT, looking forward to this match. And it's been a pretty red hot start already. Yeah. So uh, we have in this match, uh, Michael Funk and Scotty Boshan, composite team, playing against Flynn O'Shaughnessy. Now, again, I hope that pronunciation is right. I actually asked Todd before, and he goes, I've got no idea how to pronounce his last name yeah, either. So that, mean, that gives us a crack at it. Yep. And Toddy Chawon. Now, uh, Flynn is a marquee player for Melton, but is an ACT player. And it currently part of the Bowls Australia National Pathways squad. So he's been identified... Probably from last year's Nationals, representing ACT and uh, playing quite well. So I reckon this will be a cracking match, Matty. Yeah, I reckon you're right, JT. Scotty Boshan loves the uh, playing on carpet. It's just a good play full stop. Yeah. So for those who might be only just joining us for the first time, the men's pairs is 15 ends. Two hours and 15 minute time limit. We've gone nowhere near the time limit yet, as far as I'm aware, Maddie. Now, we had a couple outside that were getting close, but I think two hours is probably max. Great ball there from Todd. And uh, de dead ends replayed. And uh, I think that's about it from memory. <laughs> <laughs> Very vague statement by myself. Scotty's awfully close with his first ball too. Ooh. Big, big shout out to La Trobe City Council, a major partner of this event as well, along with Morewell Bowling Club. And we have the ladies pairs currently happening there at the moment. I think we just sent Liam down there, didn't we? Yeah, I saw Liam um, depart just earlier with his camera. We're only using two venues today. Trelgan, Morwell? Or we got no, no, my understanding it's only two today. Okay. There's a supporter event at Warrigal today. Great. How'd the uh, supporter event at Newbury go? I heard it went really, really well. 28 teams, so yeah, there's, some the, there's some of the... There's some of the... Who was... Having a run, Scotty. Scotty. A run. Got it. Got it. And respot on the tee. Which will be Michael Very Funk's good. bowl, I reckon. Yep. I think. Ooh. No, you're right. It's Michael Funk's. No, I'm just looking at whether Toddy's to the... No, I don't the, think Todd will get that. Look at the camera angle. Yep. It's close. Great run early from Scott. Well, Potion. we had Flynn running from lead for, for Toddy. <laughs> and then... Oh, just not quite there. 
JT. Morning, Shane. Did spot uh, Shane the other day playing at uh, Morwell in the mixed pairs. Great guy, Shane. Yes, I saw him uh, yesterday at Mafra. Doing great playing things with Buzz. In Bowls for Life organisation. Scotty looking to make it two. Oh, I don't think he has, JT. Just one. Do I have the scores around the right way? Yes, I do. That was all Sam's fault, game one. Maybe. So tell me, Shane, I did meet Shane yesterday. Yep. At Mafra. He yep. was playing with Buzz. Mm -hmm. yeah, but he's got... He started his, uh, this organisation, um, Bowls for Lives. Bowls. I'm having a mental blank at the moment. I think um, I saw them wearing the tops. Yep. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, uh, in support of uh, ex-servicemen who, uh, you know, might have some mental health battles and things like that. And, um, you know, sort of encourage them to start playing lawn bowls and how it's benefited them. You know, yeah, fantastic. Hugely. You know, they had a segment on A Current Affair there only a couple of weeks ago. It was fantastic. Um, yeah. Great stuff. The more people we get playing the sport, no matter how, the better. Yeah, for sure. Started there by Michael Funk. Out of the Minyip Bowling Club, Matty A. Yeah, we were just uh, Googling that before. Or did you have to Google it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. didn't know where it was. Bowls for your lives. Apologies, Shane. I knew you'd correct me. Thank you. Now, I know Michael quite well. Um, Every year, the Murray Mallee plays Wimmer in a bit of a challenge match prior to region sides. And I've um, played against Michael a few times since I've been up that way. So Michael's in the Wimmer region, is that right? Correct. Okay. He plays a lot down in West Coast, though, doesn't he? He did. He actually, um, I think he played down there under permit this year. Okay. Yes. Morning, Margaret. We're going to have two days in a row of the Lady Bowlers, and we're going to see all the singles action from them starting tomorrow. Fantastic. So we had uh, two days of mixed pairs, two days of men's pairs, and then two days of ladies' singles. What's your favourite format to uh, commentate, JT? Um, I think the, the pairs, the pairs format. I, I do like the three ball pairs. I mean, I, if we're talking Vic Victorian Open specific, yeah. I mean, I still love calling a good pennant match. Haven't done it for a while. <laughs> no, I've had a break this year. Well, I'm just too far. <laughs> you are. Don't think Tane wants to pay me to come down just to talk for a few hours. Plus, I've got my own competition worried about the weekends anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit quiet in here today at the moment, JT. Is it? Yeah. I can hear Tommy Ristick from it's about gonna eight say rinks on the Johnny away. O'Donnell's gone outside now. <laughs> oh, that was so close by Flynn. Morning, DJ. Hope you're well, buddy. A few people on the balcony enjoying the view. That's, as I said earlier, it's probably one of the best viewing spots yeah, it's a club fantastic. can have. I said, imagine a pennant grand final. Oh, well, I remember some of the finals we had here last year. It was full. Yeah, not a bad spot there, yeah, JT. He's, not, he's actually unhappy with it, so I think he's looking just to get there first and take the shot away from Tide and Flynn. Not far away, Todd. going to get down. Oh, just oh, missed it. You know the exact same bowl Flynn played. <laughs> so Michael Funk uses a Taylor bowl. And all the other three sets. XG's. I believe so. Actually, yeah. I'm not convinced about Flynn yet. I have to have a bit of look. I feel like they've oh, got... This is better away from Scotty. Yeah, good bowl. Kind of fattens Does it up a little hard? bit. I don't know if he goes hard. I reckon he plays similar weight and just tries to play it a bit tighter. Yeah, well, he only just missed it. He hasn't changed his weight at all. He's got to be close now. 
Great bowl. Yeah, tight. fantastic. Look, his weight nearly spot oh, on the I same. Got three now. That's why he didn't need to go big, JT, oh. did he? Potion looking to cut this down. Just a fraction high. That, that's probably the one constant you see is if they miss on this hand back this yeah, way, it's generally it high. Yeah. Well, that's a free hit here for Toddy. No pressure on him or anything. I might have said it loud enough for him to hear it too, as saw, he walked past. I saw the whiz on the back of his hat. Yeah, I didn't realise that was a nickname of his. No. All you've got to do is beat that last orange bowl of uh, Scotty's and you're in the count. Yep. And a four will be a uh, great start. I wonder if Todd will be able to get down. He's high, but his weight is better. Yeah, his weight's spot on. Great bowling. Todd Trewan. Four it is. Four. Big count early in the match. And we're 4 2 after two ends. So there's a distinct tactic slash strategy here, Matty. that from the first end. Sean was, uh, fl sorry, Flynn O'Shaughnessy. Not quite minimum, but pretty close. Yeah, it's probably oh, nearly two metres off the, the, the 21 marker. Think they are yeah, drakes. I don't think they are. Think they're drakes. That looks, like, that looks like the, the rings of a drake bowl. Well, if you let me do my uh, sheet that I've nah, been trying to do, you don't we'd do, know all you about don't, this, you JT. You don't do the sheet, <laughs> Matt. What you don't know, you just make up. Okay. Nobody will know any different. <laughs> oh, I'd like to go back to my sheet. Oh, well. I'll bring it back at some stage, JT. I think that clipboard's been thrown in the bin. <laughs> I reckon you've got something to do with it too. <laughs> David Scott says bring back the sheep. <laughs> Come on, Scotty. <laughs> Don't back Matty in. Great work, Scotty. Flynn's here. Yeah. If he lands his own, it's very good. He has. Yeah, great, great bar. Ball. We have another five matches on this green as well. We'll give you scores of those matches throughout, <coughs> throughout the day. I nearly choked. And uh, I think we've got Glenn doing some live scoring for us. I felt yeah, like he might have been. I was doing, trying to do a little bit earlier. It's hard when you've got so many matches, but now we're only down to 16. Yep, round 32. 16 matches. Using all, we're using three greens this morning. Is 
Toddy's bowl. Doesn't look far away. No, it's close. Very close. Yeah. He's got great weight, hasn't he, Todd? I saw him bowling at um, Hayfield, I think it was. Hayfield? Oh, sorry. On Hayfield. Tuesday. Yeah. Some weight here. Scotty is a very good driver. Now I played against Scotty in the region side Silver Tier final two years ago. It was a cracking game. Played very well. Oh, he's not driving. He's looking to. I reckon Toddy was just trying to split the two blues there. He's a fraction high. But if uh, Scotty plays weight, it's not the worst spot. Well, he's electing to play it just a little just bit over. Just trying to try the jack 18 inches, two feet. Doesn't want to hold again. I heard um, some of the bowlers talking earlier about it. This rink is either drive or draw. Yes. It was last year too, from memory. Mm. Maybe Scotty's got to rethink that. He's probably just played it. Like he said, he's got two bowls. If you're looking at the behind the head shot. Two blue bowls. About 18 inches, two feet behind. That's the way he's got to play. He's probably overplayed the last couple. And that, I'd argue the, the two feet, 18 inch shot is... Here's a draw shot. So Todd's looking to get to those, as you mentioned, those two. Michael Funk bowls, the blue. Scott is either going to decide whether well, to keep the weight and try and narrow it up or just take a little bit off. That's what Michael Funk was asking for. Just line was good, take a little bit off. Getting down? No, I don't think so, JT. I think it's two. It is. Two. So good start. And Flynn going to that same. Matt Lentz. 6-1 after three ends. Should he have driven? Uh, it's a hard one. He's got such a great drive. But he had nothing at the back, so if he gets a jack down the back and his bowl doesn't seem to go with it. Some early scores from across the green, Matty O. Uh, Dylan Fisher, one. Dave Ashby, two, after three ends. Um, that's actually Rob Clough. I think it says Glough on the sc scoreboard. <laughs> it does But do. it is Rob Clough. Yep. He's leading 2-1 after three. Cooper. Yep. Uh, Anderson versus Cullinane. Anderson 
That's Kevy. Yep. Cam Keenan. Uh, leading 5 0 after 3. And it's actually technically Darren Gordon skipping that rink, not Simon Cullinane, but that's all good. Uh, the next rink, Anger. Anger? I think it is A N G R. Uh, was it Anger? Anger. Playing Ronnie Dalton. 2 0 after one end. That score probably hasn't been updated as properly as it could. And then Ristic is playing Beckwith on the far rink, 3-0 after one, but that's probably got a couple of things to go. Yeah, I saw Ronnie Dalton out at Mafra yesterday. He was pretty happy with uh, his result over Matty Flapper. I could only imagine. <laughs> I actually saw the drive that went straight up in the air, three metres. And then come back down. Back down, a little bit forward. Six Dropped down. to six. Yeah, you wouldn't be happy about that, would you? <laughs> Fleen, leading Fleen. well here. Yeah, this is great bowling. Oh, perfect start. One bad weight by Michael, just probably a fraction wide. Who's doing the uh, scoreboards? Oh, we don't need to do our one. What do you mean? The big one. We don't need that for the crowd. Ah, oh, they'll probably do it at some stage. Now, after N5, I'm going to tap out. Right. You're going to be joined by the buzz. The buzz. I saw him yesterday at Mafra. It's a pity both of us are not playing again today. Oh, Todd Drawn has come to play, JT. Yeah, playing quite well. Scotty Boshan looking to cut this down. Oh, just goes past. Just a fraction wider. Still not a bad home. Everything for Tide and Flynn's probably in good positions at the moment. Scotty be looking to correct yeah, here. He's a little bit higher than last. It's all on his speed now. He's <laughs> played good weight. He has. He's missed it twice. Still three down. Todd likes this one. Looking good. It's gonna it's, it's, oh, I don't know if I got there in the end. No, it didn't. That's how Scotty's tracking. He's gone a bit higher this time. Doesn't want to go past the other side. Oh, he's sat it. Probably it's a made shot. one. One it is. Score is now 6-2 after four ends. Now, uh, imagine Michael Funk will probably be playing a drastically different length of end. Yep. Probably a bit longer. Matt back. <coughs> Get, uh, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't, as actually. As deep with the jack as I thought. Joey, Joey, how are the Ocean Grove guys going? Oh, they're outside, mate, so I can't actually see. We have some people out in there doing some live scoring, so if yeah, you get on the, the Bowls Now app or on the, just the Bowslick website, and you should be able to check the live scores. Yeah, this is a better start from Michael Funk.
On your Matty O. Some love for you. Oh, Ollie Roberts. Morning, Ollie. Thanks for joining the live stream. One of my ex teammates at uh, Hawthorne. You played with your new t new club mate yesterday, yeah, didn't I you? Did. Yeah. Didn't help at all. Now we're in the so close. Good leading, a little stiff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for Heathmont, Ollie, not for Hawthorne. Yeah. <laughs> That's a much better end here from Michael Funk. I reckon he was disappointed in himself the last couple ends. Toddy's standing right, smack bang in front of the, the camera. Oh, he has, but... God, he's playing back in. Probably looking to try and get to that white bowl that's just behind the shot bowl, I reckon. Gets it, could make two or three. Doesn't like it. Under the head. The screen probably runs around 14 and a half, 15, Ollie, I reckon. Probably a fraction quicker than the Morwell Green we stream from. JT, what mm -hmm. you called earlier. Get to Flynn's bowls, the white ones. He's closer this time. Oh, that's a good bowl. That's a great bowl. <laughs> I reckon we might a lot, see a lot more weight now. Yep. Matty? Okay, we're going with weight. Toddy doesn't mind a wind up. Full wind up. Get the orange and get them all. <laughs> oh. we'll just get the jack. Where'd He's the got jack? his own ball back to the tee as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure he could have put it any better. <laughs> what a drive. A good result. Uh, Hit it flush, but a good result. Love your tongue-in-cheek comment there, Braden. <laughs> I mean, Scotty's just probably pulling up a fraction short. Surely he's just drawing. I'm not sure what else oh, he'd he be looking, looking at. Looking to see if he could remove a bowl and yeah, it's not that short not of the, worth it. That's that short of the jack. You could actually potentially give shot away. Just draw. Yeah, make it two. Yep. A two you're scoring is one less end they're scoring on as well too. So. Glenn, the orange bowls are Dreamline XGs. No idea, though. How's Toddy tracking? Last bowl of N5. Oh, the way he's bowling, he'll be a toucher here. Okay. 
Two it two. is. So score now, 8-2. We've played five. That means you're uh, tagging you out, JT. Look out, people, buzz. for those watching home. Buzz is on. Morning, Buzz. Good morning, Maddie. How are you? Very good. Good, mate. Good, good. Disappointed you're not playing today, like oh, myself. Look, <laughs> a little bit disappointed, but that's all right. Get I to think, sit here. I think one of our staff members got you early, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Okay. No, he did get a jump on us. Yep. Glenny. Um, he bowled really well, two? actually. Yeah. Got the next two, but yeah. unfortunately, wasn't good enough, mate. But uh, had a great day though. Got to play with Shane Hafner from uh, Bowls for Your Lives. Yeah, we were talking about that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So. Um, it's been set up by a couple of the boys, um, ex-coppers and stuff, and it's really all about, um, you know, creating that opportunity to talk about mental health and well-being. You know, it's something that a lot of that we all know that blokes aren't necessarily. They don't talk about it, do they? Well, some about. of them don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, they're just so passionate about it, mate. And they've, you know, sort of set it up and found that actually bowls has been a way to um, help them open up conversations and also help them deal with, you know, some of the stresses and stuff that they've had. Yeah. And issues, and um, it's just a great cause to actually be. I'm actually helping them out with a bit of stuff. Excellent. I saw you wearing the top. Yeah, so. yeah, and really, you know, really excited to be part of it, and uh, and it's and the support from the bowls community. You know, they've only been going for a couple of years. It's just been, well, just a bit under is, is huge. So, yep. um, I think it's going to be something that's going to grow really, really, yeah, really that's big. Mate, that's so. a great story. I didn't really know about it, and I met Shane briefly uh, yesterday. Yep. Yeah. But well, no. hopefully they can, you know. You know, do some more stuff with Bowls Vic and even hopefully Bowls Australia and, yeah. you know, build something up. Because I think it's, you know, it's certainly a really important topic. Um, and not just for men, for anybody who um, is dealing with, you know, those sorts of I couldn't agree mental any health. Any more, Buzz. I don't say. But on other notes, yep. here we are, mate. We are. Hey, how good's this game? We're in Scotty Bocian, he's already seen me just sit down and just put his hands up in the air <laughs> going, oh, no. <laughs> Well, you know these boys very well, I do. don't you? Yes, I'm actually playing with Scotty and the pairs at the Australian Open this year. Oh, okay. So this will show whether or not he um, gets the skip or whether I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he'd always be skipping. But uh, oh, it's great, mate. Actually, we're all staying together. Scott, Scotty and, um, and, and Funky were all over at the Big Four Caravan Park. Oh, right. Against Hollywood. Todd. Really? Hollywood. Look at him. He's, <laughs> he's a man of the people, isn't he? He's bowling well, isn't he? How's, how good's the bowls been so far? Oh. Incredible. Even just, I've had, before I came and sat down, I've been out and had a look around outside. It's unreal, the quality. Oh, the feel outside is... Yeah, it's really good. Very exciting. So there he is, Mr. Boshan, walking past, giving me a look. <laughs> worried about what I'm going to say. <laughs> You've got an opportunity here, Buzz. Make the most of it. <laughs> He's, he's got no right to reply. No, he hasn't. <laughs> so, I think we've got, we've I got the like scores um, back to the front up there, haven't they? No, that's right. That's all right, is it? We've oh, we've got it back. To front, we've got we? it back to front. What's, What's going, going on, on there? Here? Uh, no, just ignore that. Just ignore the one down the middle. Yep. <laughs> right. I feel like um, Michael Funk's lifted a little bit here, Buzz. Yes. Maybe Scotty said a few words to him. <laughs> Pull your finger out, Michael. <laughs> well, they've both known each other for about 30-odd years, wow. I think. So. How good is that? Yeah. Just uh, playing sport with people you've known for so long. Well, it's one of the great things about this sport, mate. You can keep playing it for years and years. Well, Todd is looking to draw this off. Good on, look at that from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> front toucher. That's that's pretty handy. Get the chalk out, Buzz. That's it, mate. I'll have to have the get the chalk out on. I haven't seen your tops for a while. It'll, you've, it'll you've be put out the chalk away, have no, you? No, mate. It'll be out tomorrow in the singles, I reckon. Okay. I've got to play Vinny in oh. game one <laughs> at Morwell. The V-Man. Yeah, the V-Man. Game one tomorrow at More at Morwell. Oh, jeez. It'll I'm all be on, go, mate. I'm going to have to get down there and see that. Vinny will be nervous. I reckon he would be. Hope you listen to Vinny. Scotty <laughs> having a run on he's got, his back. He's going to be close here. Very close. Ooh. Good attempt. 
So, boys from Elton have got a nice little, got away to a nice little lead here after five ends. What's Todd do here? Look at defend here. He's definitely holding one. Scotty's still got one yeah. bolt down. Flynn's got his foot in a defensive spot there. They're thinking if Jack could go back, if Scotty. If Scotty hits it, where's it going? Probably. Probably over to the left. Yeah. Where or Scotty's right, right, looking at the screen. Yep. But uh, our left. Or our left. Did you watch the first game, mate? That was on the live stream. I didn't. I was doing some live scoring outside. I saw a little bit of it. Matty O and Dylan were on fire. Matty O. The, oh. the better Matty O. The better Matty O. <laughs> the Matty O that can bowl. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go yesterday, mate? You you had a great day, didn't you? I tell you what, I was nowhere in the first. Lucas carried me. We went T to T, and he was all over it. Yep. I forgot how to bowl in the second, <laughs> and then it's like I remembered how to bowl in the third. <laughs> it's pretty how much how my day went. Oh. It's a cruel game, isn't it? Oh, I was about to give it up after the second game. Oh. Oh. Jimmy just we don't need Jimmy here in about my game yesterday at all. Jimmy's all up and about. He's got a pocket full of cash. <laughs> Scott, he's going a bit more yeah, heavy. He's going to run again on the he's back end. It. He's gone at he's it. He's got it. Oh, wow. -y. And T comes into play. And I reckon they've got one. Yep. Good result. A great hit by Scott mm. there. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here with the mat. Well, I was surprised that Michael didn't go deep with the jack once he got the mat. So he oh, doesn't mind. That took some. That was a bouncer. Yeah. You can you can clearly see that Funky doesn't deliver the jack often. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised he's not going a little bit deeper, to be he honest. He probably doesn't mind the short ends, but just wants the, the map back a bit. Yep. Where Flynn's the opposite. I must say, a call out to Mick's wife, Steph. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday to I Steph. I saw Steph. Yeah, she's outside, the... I think, or maybe just sitting up the back there. Yep. But we uh, There's eight of us all staying together in the caravan park. And we all got up this morning and sang her happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, did she love that? She felt a little bit embarrassed because <laughs> it was 7.30 and we're all outside singing so the whole caravan park could hear us. I hope you had your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> right. A little bit wide. It's getting down. It's coming down. Just a bit over. Still a good bowl though. Anything behind the head's good here. Think of the way Toddy's bowling. And you playing in anything else? Yeah, I've got one more game to go. Hopefully uh, two, if we get through our section. Uh, triples with Tony Sherwell. Yes, CEO, with the boss. And Glenn, who got you yesterday. Ah. So he'll be skipping after his performance yesterday. Yeah, he was good yesterday, mate. Was he? Yeah, he was good. He did. He bowled really well. He often tells us he's very good. But, uh, <laughs> uh, well, he actually lived up to it yesterday. Okay. But uh, they got done this morning. Yeah, I saw I that. I saw him in the casuals out by there. Tommy Ristick. I thought Tommy got him. Yes, and he's leading 6-4 at the moment over Beckworth after four ends. And the giant killer, Ronnie Dalton, next door. Yeah. Who got your mate and our mate, Matty Flapper. Yes. He's uh, leading 6-4 as well after I, five. I uh, played next to them in that game. Yep. And there was one end oh, that was, where yeah. they dropped a six. The one when it... And Matty, <laughs> just while Funky's just put one in there. So, Bowl was right next door to Jack. They had the next three, and then they had the two backest. And all Matty had to do was either get the bowl, and they would have had three, or get the Jack straight back into the pit for two. Just nailed it, hit the Jack. Jack's gone into another bowl, back on 18 feet in the air, came down forward, six down. Uh. <laughs> was just like you could just see I could just see tangles and and um, paddles just <laughs> hands on their head 
I've, I've, I've heard another story that Ronnie said to uh, Maddie, what was that? I'm a little bit deaf of hearing. Yeah. And Maddie goes, it's a six. <laughs> and Ronnie goes, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> or I know. <laughs> No, it, was, it was a good day out at Mafra. Yeah, it was a great day, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, they put on a great show out yeah, there. Yeah, Phil, I'm pretty sure. Clifford yeah. is the the manager there. No, hat, hats off to the boys out there. They did a really good job. I uh, thought the greens were ran pretty well. Yeah, they were great. So Scott on the backhand. He's looking to sit it. Just going to fall under. Now, have you been talking to JT about how his performance was yesterday? No, I've, no? I've, you I haven't know, raised it's a bit it? touchy. It's I didn't want to go there yet. Yeah, no, he was a bit touchy last night. Well, I thought he, the way he was talking, he was going to the final. Hey, <laughs> okay. So, Scotty doesn't really need to do much. Just a small adjustment on his line. Looks to be a little bit wider. Has he got the weight, Buzz? It's not looking too bad. Just got to keep going. It's a good track. It's going to be four feet, six feet short, six feet. You had the track, though. Yeah, great track. They've got to be two down here. I don't want to be dropping another two or three. Just scratching his head. He's, the way he's been bowling, he's I thought he'd be all over that. He's missed it. So Giving Scotty a chance. So same track here, a bit more weight. It's a bit heavy, Scotty's I think. Is it going to get around? Oh, it's not heavy. Oh, oh, it's into the bowl. It actually pulls up quite quick. So they're holding two. Yep. What are they looking for? Well, I don't think Toddy wants to come up that. He just comes on the forehand, mate. Just rolls into those two and happy days. Yeah, make it three. Yep. And if he's a little bit narrow and he moves the jack a couple of inches, almost get three. Four. Yeah, do have the Michael Funk bowl. Out to the sort of two o'clock. Yeah. Here he comes, mate. Here comes your skip. <laughs> Here's your skip for tomorrow. Yeah. So Toddy on the forehand. Be looking to add in here. He's got to keep going. Hurry, he says. Hurry, hurry, you hurry. Hear it through the mics. Hurry. It has. Yes, that'll be three at least. A little low five. Oh. Three. Three. So even I can probably do this, mate. Uh, on the computer. You're more than capable of that, Buzz. There we go. My skip for uh, Monday just told me that um, all life scores have been updated outside. He's doing a good job. I saw him running around out there before. Yeah. We might do a bit of around the grounds. Buzz. Around the grounds? Yeah. Well, we can quickly do it in here too. Go for it. So it's 11-3 uh, to Todd here over Boshan. Over on the next rink, Fisher and Ashby. Fisher, uh, Ashby's up 5-4 after six. Then you've got Clough and Kraus. Uh, four all after six. Kevin Anderson looks like they've got a way to a ripper against my boys from Dunkel Cat and Shanks. Uh, Fourteen to one after seven. Uh, Dalton six four up uh, over there after five, and Tommy Ristick is up six four after four. <laughs> Scotty just hits me in the back of the head as he walks past. <laughs> Who, who needs friends yeah. or enemies when you've got friends like that, I should say? Just one from outside. Dan Mars playing Ellie Forsyth. Uh, Dan Mars up 9-0 after six. Well, boys are going to have to turn it on here. They want to try to make a comeback We've here. We've got uh, Tyson playing some of my teammates. Uh, Dodsey and uh, Dan Carroll. And they are up. Tyson's up 7-0 after three. Not a bad start there. 4-1-2. I think I think Tyson might have had all seven of those shots too. <laughs> when the couple of the ends I saw, yeah, he had was whole three, three, three over the turn. 
on the crossover. He looked half, to sl half asleep when I saw him before. <laughs> he always looks half asleep. <laughs> Known fella. So Mix put down a good, good one to start with. He needs to add here. He's got very good touch, hasn't he? Oh, he fuck. does. He does. Loves the quick greens, I would say. Would that be right, Buzz? Yeah, well, up at Minyup, mate. That's yeah, just tell like us concrete. about it. I think it's like concrete <laughs> okay. up there. <laughs> and he played on a permit for... Uh, yeah, played a couple of games down at Port Ferry. Okay. Yes. I heard they're doing some great things at Port Ferry. Yeah, mate, they've put in a one... Oh, they've got two new greens in there now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, a couple of new berries. Oh, great bowl they're. here by Flynn. I think they're berries. Um... Yeah, they've put in a couple of new greens, and they're actually running pretty well, so which is good. Yep, and they're starting to hold some big tournaments. Yes. Yep. So, it's a good bowl there. Getting back to that white one at the back would be even just handy. Sit that white bowl. It's close. Sit that. So yeah, it's a good bowl. I reckon that's almost, I reckon they're touching. It's got to be close to touching. So a little just touch on it, just pop it out. That jack will go flying. Here comes more more crowd, mate. Here comes Sammy. He's got a pep in his step. There he has. He's lost his sleeves, though. <laughs> <laughs> Very big right. arms he's got, Sam Rogers. <laughs> So, uh, Todd, he's on a good track here. Looking forward to get down. Not a bad effort. Scotty, we just looking to put a little touch on this. Just spit the jack out. A couple of feet. Is it going to drop down? Nah, it tends to just hold a holding bit on buzz. that backhand, isn't it? Yeah. He wants a little rub off. Oh, that's handy, though. That's handy for him. Where's the jack going if he, if he hits it? I think, I think the jack's going to go straight back to Funky's bowl. So. Todd looking to get behind here. So he's probably got a bit too much weight on that, to be honest, for that. Jack will spit out pretty easy. Does he like this one? This looks like a better line. It's tighter. It's, it's a tighter like it's line. He likes it. Maybe no, he doesn't. Yeah. Needs to put his orange shoes on. That's what it is. <coughs> Hello, Mary. Watching from Fife in Scotland. Mary's on a fair bit, isn't she? I haven't seen Mary, Mary Ingram. Before. I'm pretty sure I see her name pops up a bit. Fife. I'm not going to try a Scottish accent. No, I won't even. <laughs> not with the rehearsal. Well, thanks for joining in, though, Mary. Lovely. That it's great that you know we live stream here goes worldwide. Uh, there's one of my mates. Not really a mate. Reminding <laughs> me about the Saints. <laughs> morning. Is it morning? No, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, Rhino. Do we? Do you want to talk about the footy last night, mate? No. You don't want to? No. Oh. And I don't want to talk about this me meme of famous Owens either. <laughs> so, Toddy's just looking at add. That's a handy bowl. Yeah. They've really analysed where this jack's going. To me, looks like it's going to go straight back to... No, it's, got, it's, it's angled a little bit, Buzz. Look at this, nearly uh, drawing a line for it. So one down at the moment. This is a hard shot, Buzz, because just that little bit overweight is really difficult yeah. on this side that he's playing, which is his backhand. It's a little bit sticky on this backhand, isn't yep. it? Will he go harder? Harder yep. it is. Oh. Another one to Trewarn. 
no, no gives them a, I think it is. Gives them a 12-3 lead. After eight. I think these guys won their Melton pairs, didn't they? I think Toddy and Flynn. And Flynn I think. We're talking about how he's a, a marquee player for the Mustangs. ACT. Flying. Yep. And in the Pathways program. And our good he, mate's he playing for the Mustangs this year. Ozzy Jones. Yes, I saw Ozzy. Played. He's really jumped in there and been enjoying yeah, it, hasn't he's, he? he's really embraced the, the change. And they had two dads there as well, didn't they? Did two dads come down and end up playing this year? Played a couple of games? They might have, yeah. I'll have to if speak to Ozzy about he'd, that. He'd be listening or watching, oh, Ozzie wouldn't he? Ozzy will have this on for sure. Ozzy's just over there, isn't he? <laughs> well, he is too. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him there. Oh. Hello, Rowie. Oh, we've got Go an umpire same, call same. here on the, on the oh, jack on the length. length. That what do you reckon? Make a, make that's a call, that's, Buzz. That's long enough, mate. That's in by a mile. Oh, it's very hard to see where this minimum line is, where the mat is. I'm going to say it's out, just to go against Just you. to go against me. Yeah. What are we looking at? It's in. Well done, Buzz. Told you. <laughs> Was in by at One least. To you. <laughs> was in by at least th two inches. That's a mile. That's huge. <laughs> no. But we've got our mat where Flynn likes it. Good track. Is he going to drop in? Yeah, yeah. Another great start. Yeah, he's bowling well. So, what are they going to do here, mate? They just need to start getting some numbers if they want to get back into this game. See if I can get some more scores for you, Buzz. Sammy just reminded me that everything's been live scored this morning. What are your thoughts uh, next year in the Vic Open that players... Uh, doing competitor scoring. Oh, I think it's great, mate. Straight in. I think we've got to make a call. I, I think it should be done. And then it's just, everything's instantaneous, mate. We don't need paper. Well, then we, we don't, don't need have the to cards. rely on yep. volunteers getting our uh, scores for them. Yeah, correct. I, I think it's a, just make it happen. Yep. It's a condition of entry. Yep. I think it's something that also should be considered pennant-wise too. Yeah, well, we had a go at it this year in um, our two highest levels, Prem yep. and Prem Reserve. And, um, and what was the feedback overall? Very positive. Positive? Yeah. Yep. Initially, it was some resistance, yep. and we had some technical issues. But um, Savage School have worked really hard to improve the scoring app. Yeah, it was a little bit clunky to start with, wasn't yeah. it? But it was a bit of spinning and... Uh, with confirmation, but uh, I've spoken to some of my guys at Heathmont and they've said it's improved a lot. Yeah. No, Monkey, holding one. Been looking to add one in here. Yeah. They want to win this end. Yeah. Buzz. I, I don't think. I need to get. He's got a good bowl here. Yeah. He's got two. So Beautiful. They way. really need to win this end. There we go. Correction. Todd and Shane won the Mountain Pairs. Yep, and two dads. I was correct. Flynn and Gary all played for the Mustangs this season. Thanks, Peter, for clarifying. Yep. So, still holding. I reckon still got two. Yeah, it's definitely two. So chance here for Scotty. Add another one in. Put the pressure right on Todd. Oh, it looks tight. 
Yep. White was pretty good. Looking to draw it off here. Todd Trewan. It's not a, it's just gonna hold out, I think. Oh, his weight is spot on again, Buzz. It's probably it's cut one out though. Yep. Second shot. It's got to really nice that here. That's a better track. Oh, this is spot on weight, Buzz. Picked it up. Yeah, that could be that could be three, three now. I reckon that is. Oh, that'll be three. It's a target though now, Buzz. Yeah, but and Todd's drive was <laughs> spot pretty, on. Pretty earlier. spot on before. Yeah. Nope. Crowd up there watching. They don't have the tee. No, they don't do that. Mix yeah. back as bowl. You reckon that's. Reckon it's yeah, it's be it's got to be three, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident with three. I reckon it's three. Oh, no. Well, the Mustangs are having a good talk about it. I tell you what, though, if they get to if Todd misses. And then Scotty adds one in, all of a sudden. Game on. Game on. He looks, look at him though. Oh, he's, he's looking pretty casual, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty focused. What can Toddy do here? He's just going for the draw. Yeah. I suppose with their lead, dropping one is okay. Trailing the jack is even better. Oh, he's gone through the gap, has he? Oh, he has. Oh, wow. Oh, no, I can't believe that. All right. So, there's a chance it's a Holden three. Chance here for Scotty. Yeah, big to chance here make for a four. Number, get himself right back into this game. It's not a bad track, mate. It's going to come down to weight, Buzz. I think he's got it there, mate. Oh, it's... Oh, has he picked the gap too? No, it's got it. Oh, has yeah. he stayed? Yeah, he stayed. I reckon that's four. Yeah, four. It's going to be definitely three. That's definitely Could be a turning three. point be, in here. Absolutely, in game, mate. Buzz. All of a sudden, it becomes 7-12. Yeah, it's four, I think. Looking at the back. Four it is. Four. Buzz. That's a big turning point, mate. So now it's 7-12. Up to nine. Five in it. Over on the rink next door. Yeah, let's see. Dylan Fisher's got back into it. Eight six up. Over Ashby. Cloth, I think it is, versus yep. Kraus. Uh, Kraus is six four up yep. after seven. Kevin Anderson's oh, he's got out to a stretch their lead, fifteen two. Strong rink that one. Yeah. Cam Keenan and uh, Kevin Anderson. Hope. Ronnie Dalton's down. The giant he, killer. He was up, but <laughs> he's down. Who's eight. he against? Uh, I think it's... Anger? Ang Anger. Anger. He's six. eight, and Dalton's six after yep. seven. And Tommy. Is Tommy up. Ristic. The coach of Blackburn this year. 9-4 lead. Over Beckworth from Armidale. And if you're looking for other scores, jump on the Bowls Now app. Correct. All been live scored. Yep. The boys are out there running around doing updates. They are. Your mate, Glenn, from yesterday. <laughs> My mate. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mightn't have called him my mate when I saw him at the pub last night. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have. I would have <laughs> given him a little bit of a low one. So, that's a good starter here, Flint. Yeah, he's a handy lead, isn't he? Yeah. It's a handy bowl. Mick wasn't too far off. His track was good. Just needed first, another first time at T to T. I reckon it is. Well, certainly since I've sat down. Yeah. Well, Flynn had a, a real ga game plan of where he wanted that. It's a good track. Just, just got to come. Hit his own. Are you playing in the singles, Matty? No, I'm no? not. No, not a singles man. I am a singles man, but uh, not allowed to. Not allowed? No. The wife has said no? <laughs> no, the boss has said no. The boss has said no. You've got to work. Yes. So we're only allowed with as, the uh, As the boss is just sitting, you know, 10 feet from us over here on the left. Well, if you can get me a spot, Buzz, that'd be great. <laughs> I would I have thought, I would the, have thought the fact that you, you are. Yeah, You're coming up? I am coming up. Our first holiday after... Having the baby? After the baby. That'll so be fantastic, mate. You'll enjoy that. Yeah, we'll have to uh, hook up and have a couple of quiet ones. Oh, you can <laughs> twist my arm. <laughs> this is better weight from Michael Funk. There is Shane on there today. Shane, great had a great time with you yesterday, mate. Bowling. Oh, good bowl there by Funky. Yeah, that four has changed everything. Tell you what, though. This is not far away. This is not far away. Good Spot bowl. Bottom weight. That's a great that bowl. That is off from Todd. Tell you what, though. It's a good looking trail shot there for yeah. Scotty. Back to the blue. Easy trail for Scotty coming. Yes, I did say I that loud enough so he could hear me as yeah, he walked past. Yeah, just ignored you. <laughs> <laughs> we are very close to the players, aren't we, Puzz? Especially when they move that mat up. Very close. It's not hard for them to hear what we say <laughs> when they walk past. Well, talk about an easy trail for Scotty Boshan. I'll tell you what. It's on target. The track's not... Bad. Has it got enough weight? He gets back to it. You get back to it. Oh, get out of town. Oh, oh now it oh. changes it. Oh, and the, and the <laughs> head's back. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steph. <laughs> the real boss of the Funk family. Yep. Just walks past. Looks like she's delivering a sandwich yep. to Michael. He must be a bit famished. <laughs> It's a good bowl here from Todd. Oh. I think Scotty's got to he's got to have a bit more weight, doesn't he? Definitely, he can work definitely. he can work off Toddy's bowl. Jack out the side. Get the jack out the side, yep. Even even onto the, like get rid of that white bowl onto the tee. Well, this is a little bit more weight, but it's higher, Buzz. Yeah, it just holds there, doesn't it? Yeah. I think he's got to have a real drive at it. Yep. I mean, you can just get it off the inside of Toddy's ball, bowl, get rid of the wide, even put the jack in the out of bounds. Or I tell you what, though, if he gets that and he gets the jack out on the right-hand side, it's just all blue. Yeah, surprise Todd's not defending that. Yeah. Like I'd be would have been th thinking he would have tried to get one. In between that little dime, that little triangle, mate. Is he winding up harder? I think he'll have to. Yep. Yep. It's gone a little bit firmer. It's a, track. Needs it's a good track. It's a good track. Down. He's got it. He's got it. Bang. That. Oh, get at it. No, I think they've got I one out of that. I think he's still got one. Yeah. That's a bit unlucky, to be honest. That I was a great bowl. He couldn't have hit that any better. No. <laughs> no. That's exactly the shot you wanted to play. Yep. But I can't believe that the white didn't actually go further. 
Yeah, that would have been that would have been four. Holding four with Todd's bowl to come. Now Todd's one down looking to get shot. And he's got about a foot and a half to draw. Sure, I've had the weight, but I think it has buzz. It's a good track, too. He's stalking it. He's played a bomb here. Oh, that's a great bowl. A little low five again. That's one to the Trewarn pair. Yeah. Yeah. I think the mat's going to come back to where we saw it before. Oh, I reckon it will. Up it comes. Oh, sorry, mate. Let me fix that. You got it? Got it. So it's 13-7 after 10. Not out of it, but... I tell you why, the way Flynn's bowling. He's making well, a... He's I, see, make I see his nickname's Paddy. He's putting the pressure on, isn't he? I already have, mate. Twice. Mick's just asking me to wish his <laughs> wife happy birthday. I'll wish her again. Happy birthday, Steph. It's <laughs> <laughs> another good starter. Look at that. Good weight. Players are literally, you could almost stand up and touch them, that's how close they I are. Know. You have to be conscious of that. So for our viewers, they've got the mat what, about two metres back from the minimum line. Yep. Which is right in nearly in front <laughs> right of us. Nearly right in front <laughs> of us. Right. It's been a great battle at the, as, of the leads. Yeah. Right. Mick's bowled well, but Lynn's probably certainly Paddy. got... Paddy's got we'll him go at the moment. Paddy. We'll go with Paddy. He's got him at the moment, but they've both bowled really well. And just oh, as we say that, he's go. just... Oh, short. Hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Foot short. Has it changed Michael Funk's hand? I think it has. Yeah, he's switching over. Looks like it might be a bit oh, tight. This, no, this is good. This is good, Buzz. It? Yes. Oh, it's a bit unlucky. Good bowl. Could have shot. Yeah, I think he has. So, switching over. It's not a bad track. Looking for it to drop now. No, it's not. Oh, he's just a bit, oh, it's bit heavy. Gone further out. Right, chance for Funky to add another one. Yeah. Tell you what, Still though. not a bad bowl. <laughs> not bad for when I sounded like he dropped it. <laughs> so, I reckon they're holding one. Motion rink. As the King of Melton just walks down, ready to put it down. track looking to sit the inside or oh, good effort hello Shane Pudney great to have you on the live stream pal Scotty it's a 
good track. Weight looks real good too. Yeah. That's that's two. We're going up here. Yep. Yeah, Todd's winding up. Winding. Here we go. Bang. Looking for Jack or Bowles. Got bowl. Oh. And holding shot. And holding shot. Great result. That's getting his drive out nice and sweet, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he delivers the bowl so well. Yeah, he does. Let's not talk about it too loud, though. <laughs> no. I think Scotty doesn't mind this. Looking for it just to drop in. Sit that one. Up. Just doesn't oh. do it on that side, does it? No. Nah. You think it's gonna should just drop in nicely and it just holds sticks on that side. Oh. Looking for a little bit of a trail here, Buzz. Oh. Was the call. He's chasing it too. Is it gonna drop? It's gotta be close. He's got it down. And, yep. Yeah. Down. It's two. On two. We're looking to see what... Bit of a run here, I think, they're calling. Well, I think he's wondering whether or not he can get through the blue mixed bowl and the white and basically hit it onto his orange. Or maybe he can get that back bowl out. What's he going to do? He's got that wry little smile on his face as he walked down, which he did. Yeah, he's going back in. A bit of weight on the back end. It's gone. Here it. we go. Oh. Oh, two down. Yep, two. And that's the end uh, of me, Buzz. All right, mate. Sammy Rogers coming Sam? in the uh, commentary. Sammy's going to come and join me for it's the last couple. Great Always to, uh, great to chat. hang out with you, mate. Good luck for your rest of your uh, tournament. Thank you, my friend. We'll catch you soon. Well, while Sammy comes and joins me, it is 15 to 7. After 11 ends. So, in a pretty strong spot here. The Trawan pair. The Mustangs. Hello, Sammy. Just checking this afternoon. Afternoon to you, Buzz. How are you, mate? What are we at? 15-7. 15-7, mate. To the Twan. Toddy. Now, yeah, this one could be short, I think. It's been a common theme of the game. Has it, Buzz? I haven't caught a lot of it, I'll be honest. Yeah, mate. Look, they have. But, um... Uh... They've pretty much gone short all day. Paddy and Todd. They have. Um, and the mat's been right up, you know, about two metres short of the 21 mark. And they've been nailing it. And there we go, right on cue. <laughs> so. And how was it outside, mate? Looks like it's a it's a pearl of day here, isn't it? Nice weather -wise. day for it. Some good contests happening as well. Of course, round of 32 action. Yeah, Trailgun in the men's and then the women's also over at Morwell. Just confirming it is 15-7 through 11 ends. How's um? What's happening outside, mate? Any big names getting a getting a flogging? Not sure about getting a flogging. Tyson, or under some pressure. Tyson Cromie and Brett Marnie ahead 12 shots to five through 10 ends. Mm -hmm. Simon Cannington and Dan Mars up 12 shots to two. Over Ali. Nine over Ali Forsyth. Yep. Green number three here. Yep. Now right. Gussie McIsaac still going with Michael James Cullen from Trahogan up against Ethan Fruin and Mason Bayless. Ethan and Mason currently 8-6 through 8 ends. A couple of good bowls here from Funky. And 
Mitch Sidebottom and Matty Robertson, who we saw in sectional play yesterday. On the stream they were, weren't they? Currently lead 11 shots to 8. It's been a clutch up through 11. Game. That's so a great bowl there by Flynn. As we'd expect down to the last 32. Plenty of high-quality players still left in the field. Going nicely. Chris Ball and Jay Bon Norris also leading 10 shots to 3 through 9 ends. They're in some fine form. A lot of these players... It's a good bowl here from Frankie. Just got to come down. Talked about it a bit, Sammy, but we certainly noticed that on this backhand it seems to stick a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, harder than on the two hands of the by mile. And a bit of a... And he's trying to add any sort of weight. Just kicks out. Kevy Anderson and Cam Keenan. No messing about. It's all Very over. Shaky hands and... Bowls and bags, and off to grab a bit of lunch there. <laughs> Through to the. That was, that was a little bit of bully material over there, mate. Around 16. Happy days. Of course, two more streams to come after this one. Yeah, two more games for the day. We'll be here late. Get all the way down to the semi-finals by the time we leave here. That's a great. Tony Trawan in some good, at back. good form. Holding two. He's been in great touch, mate. Been in fantastic touch. Not a lot of choices here. Scotty's probably going to work through that white. Or through between them, or even off Toddy's. Or inside edge. Paddling to get back. Oh, oh what's that done? Oh, hello. Well, that's one way to get shot. Fortunate, <laughs> I reckon it has as well. Yep. Yeah, then confirming one down. Well, let's face it, they need some miracles. <laughs> if they want to try to get back into this game, they need a bit of luck. Uh, some close games going on around here, man. Uh, Fisher's up, 9-6. Oh, Toddy's just snuck. <laughs> oh, through. Well. Result City here it on is. N12 on the stream rink. Well, it's like, it's like watching Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Todd's got his hands on his face. I don't think anyone really knows what's going dear on. Idea. So Scotty back to possibly a couple down again here, Buzz. Yep. A bit of work to do. I think he's going to work through that white. How's this look? Oh, it's hard to cut the head. What's uh, Dylan Fisher, a magnificent shot on the ring next door. They lead Dave Ashby 9-6 through 11 and has sat a bowl out to make a couple. Yeah, holding two there. Got to be careful here, though. Todd doesn't want to turn it over. I think he's got the two back bowls. They've actually got three back bowls there, mate. Be very interesting to see what happens, what decision Todd makes here. I think, yeah, it's a good call there from Flynn. Get one out over that side. Scotty's able to get the bowl through the jack and it spits out out the back. They'd pick up a three. So Todd will be looking to cover here. Hey, Mick, Mickey West, great to have you on board, mate. And unfortunately, Cat got a lesson from Kevy Anderson. They didn't even play out the last two or three ends. Looked like Kev Anderson and Keenan, Cam Keenan were just all over it. Toddy's just played an absolutely ripping bowl there. Great positional bowl. You just got to have a go at something here. Up on the forehand, a couple down. Need to score this end to keep within touch. Got to get distance. down. He's got it. What has he got up and now? Oh. And <laughs> including <laughs> that. And that's three. They've somehow gone one worse, and that pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? All of a sudden, the margin stretches out to 11. With three to go. Flynn and Todd nearly 18-7. Through 
12 hands, as you said, Buzz with three to go. Julie after a score. And the mid side bottom, Matt Robinson game. They lead 11 shots to eight through 11 ends. Out on the back carpet here at Trailgan. Flynn, back to where they've been bowling from all day. Eleven shots in it. Three ends to go. We'll score out dates from the women's pairs who, as we said, buzz over at Morewell. They're down to the last 16, so one round ahead of us. Yep. Sophie Kersman and Sam Atkinson currently leading Cole McKenzie. Ten shots to six. Nicole Wenton, and Julie Fit currently lead seven shots to five in their game. And Tash Van Eldick, who's teamed up with Lisa Phillips over there. Currently locked at 6-all. It's against so uh, Trish Cullen, isn't it? Yeah, we saw, I'm going to say, day one. Yeah, with her brother. The mixed pairs. Yep. Simon. Who was still going in the men's pairs over here, but ran into a red-hot Cam Kennan and Kevin Anderson. Um, good ball here from Mick. Just a little bit heavy. Good track, though. Selena Goddard and Cass Millerick. Lady Lisa Trewan, 10 shots to 6. Another good ball here. Good track. Just through, a bit heavy. Jizzy's bowled well today, Flint. Really has set it up for them. So, probably not the tightest of ends from the leads this time. Yeah, I think more than a couple could find ourselves shaking hands, Buzz, early well, on. I would have thought so, mate. Better room here for the shot to be drawn, as you said. Plenty. And as you said, mate, the drawn pairing, pick up two. It's all absolutely over. Absolutely love it out of the hand, but had a Still room a great to work with, and it's the closest for now. Scotty. Just going to hold out. Good weight. One down though. One up to Todd. Looking at it. Does he like it? Yes, no. Maybe so. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's enough. got another one in there. Good enough for a couple. Oh. Good draw balls here, Buzz. He's got a lot of strings. Scotty straightening him up and trying. Oh, the Jackal just playing onto it. It's not a bad track. It's just going to... He's got down to it. It's a great ball yeah, by Scotty. Well played for one. Twenty just checking. They've got a couple of seconds here. What the best shot is to play. Got the next two. A lot of room to trip the ball out. We've got the tee covered though too, mate. Yeah, they got two there, so two two for kills and two if he can put the ball out clean. And oh, just missing the wrong side of the bowl. Wrong side of the jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good bowls, mate. 
Well, it's pretty much done and dusted. Toddy's just walked past. Give me a little massage on the shoulders. He's obviously heard how much I've had to lift and carry this commentary today, mate. Matty O did nothing. No, uh, Matty O's pretty good at that. <laughs> In good touch. <laughs> <laughs> right, Scotty, looking to add. He's not far away here, mate. He's not far away. Just needs to tackle his own and don't fall oh. out. Oh. And, <laughs> and that's, and <laughs> that's pretty that much says it. I love that reaction. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. And that pretty much sums it up. Not it? completely the wrong way, and it'll just be. Oh, I'm pretty sure was it. I was assuming it fell out. It'll be 18-8. We have Flynn O'Shaughnessy and Todd Trebourne heading into the final two ends. And Michael and Scotty need to pick up a four to ensure this game goes the distance. And they've gone ditch to ditch. Why not? Do something completely different. May as well. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Oh, okay. it's gone away. Run events to Matty O'Brien and Dill Fish on the rink next door. They trailed 6 4 at one stage. Yeah, they've made a good comeback, mate. They're now 13 6 up. With two ends to play. So they're looking in a pretty strong position. They're in some scintillating form this morning. Talking to Matty O about it before, mate, but I'm sure you're a big supporter of maybe next year making everyone score straight into the app. Yeah, we even just talked about it, whether we just ripped all the scorecards up, they're ready to go, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life's going going. There's plenty of players on this green and outside that have already used it at the VPL or Premier A and Reserve season, so... Yeah. I think it's a great Probably decision, maybe, for next year, next year, mate. Rip the band-aid off. Keep on modernising it. That's the way. Yep. Make it happen. We know it's going to happen, so let's just yeah, get on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Flynn. Look at have one in here. It's a, just going to cut under the head. And what time will... Second, next game, mate. Have yeah, a little well, break for uh, lunch, are we? Yeah, a little bit of a break for lunch. Usually the indoor games. It's almost one o'clock. finish up first. Usually the, ba the back carpet here. It's pretty quick out there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's fairly slick. So there was a few games that ran closer to the two and a quarter hour time limit that we have on these 15 end pairs contests. There's a good bowl here from Mick Funk. Holden possibly got oh, just the one. Yeah, close for the second. No. I think Todd likes it. Looking for it to get down. Oh, and it's just snuck through. Oh, wow. I managed to draw it all the way through and not touch anything. <laughs> All the way past, so... It's time for some potion magic. <laughs> He's trying Just not to smile. Not amused at all. No. Oh, who we got up there? The worst thing is that we're who actually... Who we got up there? Who we got up here? Oh, that was, was Adrian. <laughs> the worst thing is, mate, I'm sharing a cabin with him. Well... Oh. <laughs> so, not, not sharing, sharing, but we're in the same cabin. So I'm sure I'll get a... Get a uh, ribbing tonight. Tell you what, mate, he's not far away here. He's got to run it out. Oh, and he's pulled up short. It's a great track. Real good track. So. 
See, Toddy's here, looks, looking to just put one in there, cut it right back. It's going to run through though, is it? Oh, he's done it. Oh, he managed to land it and fall back for, it's probably goes close to second shot. I reckon it would be, mate. It's going to make it hard to, for them to get this four that they need to keep it alive. So, I don't think Toddy would be too worried about going one down. Right. Scotty gonna cut the head. She's uh, hanging around. Yeah, oh, it's oh, just has that gone too far by the looks of it. Close. Close for second. No change needed here for Todd, just a forehand draw. What a correction needed. Oh, Just look at that. Hollywood. <laughs> He's got a little wry smile. And falls he back. Liked, he liked that one. I'm going to make it pretty hard to... He's bowled well. The four shots needed now. This game to continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically just hit and hope that something of a miracle... Fantastic conversation. Great support there from me. <laughs> Clear directions. <laughs> yeah, try and Let's just see what happens. Search up here and get a piece of the jack. He's oh, got something. Away. Oh. <laughs> What's that done? <laughs> Come forward for a couple. Come forward for a couple, but it's not going to be enough. But it won't be enough. And... <laughs> Flynn O'Shaughnessy and Toddy Trawan yeah, the, the Melton Colours are Done in well. some good form here. The Mustangs. As they progress. They do Another progress win through. on the board. So that'll be two to finish for after 14 ends, but that's the game. 18-10, the final scoreline. We'll be back for another stream. We move forward into the round of 16. The game's indoors and, and outdoors are still going. I've been live scored, so Make sure to jump on the Bowls Now app or results portal if you're after any scores there. And get if down not, to the Savo, mate. Get down to the Savo, absolutely. Either here or over at uh, Morewell. Cracking Friday afternoon absolutely. for Absolutely. We'll see you back on stream very shortly. Thanks, Buzz. Thanks, mate. The Terrelgan Bowls Club. Amazing food for you and your family. Function rooms for celebrating with your friends. Corporate spaces for meetings and conferences. With special benefits for members, visit us today at the Terrelgan Bowls Club. More than just a bowls club. In the UK, there's a bowl for every surface for the Hensley product. But overseas, I use the Tiger 2 and I use the Dreamline XG purely because I love the grip and the arc that the bowl takes and that's what makes me one of the best players in the world.